Hi guys, this is Max Tapper again for Howcast, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use some kettlebells. Now I know you've all heard about kettlebells that have been taking the world by storm. They're an Eastern European old school way of working out from back in the days that has now become the newest thing. So what I'm going to do is take you through a couple exercises, alright? So the first exercise we're going to do with the kettlebells is going to be called a kettlebell swing. Now it's going to touch every single muscle in your body. A lot of lower back muscles, a lot of hamstrings, glutes, quads. We're also going to get a lot of shoulders and arm muscles as we do this. So this is how it's going to work. Now, Remember, you're going to choose a weight that's going to be lighter for you initially until you get the hang of it and then you can work on increasing. So our kettlebell swing starts this way. Hands straight down, we slowly pitch our body, squat, swing over the top of the head, pause, abs nice and tight, slow on the way down, swing, back to the top, pause, slow on the way down. This is the kettlebell swing. Now, I love this kettlebell swing. I do it myself very often, and I do it with a lot of my clients. Now, something like this, we choose about 15 to 20 repetitions because it's a very, very muscular and cardiovascular exercise. Awesome to add in there, okay? Second one we're gonna do is just gonna be a basic squat with the kettlebell. We're just gonna hold it straight down, down to the floor, pause for a couple seconds, back up to the top, all right? That's how we do it. I'm gonna start off with my right arm first. I'm gonna do 10, then switch to my left arm. So this is how it's gonna look. Slow to the floor, pause, two, three, up. Slow, one, two, three, and up. Do it one more time. One, two, three, and up. Now I'm gonna switch hands. The reason for switching hands is because of the muscle recruitment in your shoulders and also the abdominal recruitment in your core. So on the way down, and up. Down, one, two, three, and up. Awesome exercise. So the third exercise we're gonna do with the kettlebell is called a snatch and press. What we're doing here is we're gonna hoist it off the floor, catch it in this position, then press overhead. Okay, so it's gonna be a lot of core again, legs. When we get it here, shoulders into our press. All right, let me show you how it's done. Hoist, catch, press. Slow on the way down, flip forward. Hoist, catch, press. Let's do it again. Hoist, catch, press. And back down. Press. Whew. Well, you can see this sweat is real. These are very challenging exercises. Next time you go to the gym, go find the kettlebells. Add them to your workout, they're gonna be lots of fun, very challenging, a lot of core work. They'll mix things up, make them nice and new for you. And remember guys, go out there, pick a weight that you can handle, and be safe.